Hello again. Uh, we're going to take the basic falls that we did uh, previously from the squatting position and we're going to add them to the more typical standing and jumping positions. Um, just to give you an idea, standing and squatting are very much alike in that you've got control over how fast you're going to the ground. The jumping is, is usually more likely associated with when somebody has surprised you and knocked your legs out from under you and you don't have the time to do anything else. So let's start with the, the difficult one first. Let's start with the front fall. Yeah. Front fall, again, goal is to get the safest parts of your body as you can on the ground. You're going to do something that's a little bit different in that you don't want to be shooting forward because you're landing on your arms and it'll disintegrate that platform that you're trying to land on. So the legs will need to go back a little bit as you come down to the ground. But even in a jump front fall, you want to start with a squat so that you have that opportunity to open up. Yes, sir. So instead of just jumping from the very t tip of your toes, bend the knees a little bit, then jump, and then everybody will see you open up, uh, kind of like a folding chair. Mm -hmm. The folding chair opens up and then it lands. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, All right, so let's do it in slow motion first so everybody can see what happens when you go toward a squat, then open up, and then we'll do one that's a little bit more dynamic. What is the part of your head, of uh, your body? Oh, I gave you the answer. Mm -hmm. What's the part of your body we're trying to protect most? Our head. Right. Second thing is? Our. Any of the joints, <laughs> right? So we, do, so we don't want to land like this. Mm -hmm. We don't want to land on our knees. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to use our toes as the landing point for the back half of our body. And we're going to use the soft part of our arms and the bottom of our hands for the front. If we keep those three things in mind, no matter how bad, oh, and we're going to turn our head sideways so we don't leave a face print. If we, if we keep those in mind as we're going through that fall, then typically things work out pretty well. And even if one piece is a little bit weaker than the others, the other piece will, the other pieces will help support you. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's start with a slow squatting to an open position. Yeah. Good. Nicely done. And... Did so well, we don't really need to repeat that. So go ahead and do a regular jumping. Again, just a little bit of a knee bend at the beginning just to make sure that you're in control of the spot you're picking mm -hmm. instead of the world being in control. Yes, yeah. Good, stay right there. And again, just so you everybody sees, arms are in a nice triangle, soft part on the ground, head turned to the side, feet to the back, landing on her toes. So the elbows did touch, but only after the soft part of the arms had touched. The stomach is up off the ground, head off the ground, and a nice key out to protect her solar, uh, her diaphragm from vibrating and getting her breath knocked out. Very well done.